Question 1. What is Apex in Salesforce? Answer. Apex is a strongly typed object-oriented programming language. It allows the developer to execute flows and transaction control statements. Apex enables developers to add business logic to most system events like button clicks related record updates and visual force pages. Question 2. What is Apex programming language? Answer. Integrated. It provides built-in support for DML calls. Inline Salesforce object query language. Easy to use. Easy to test. Version. Multi-tenant aware application. Question 3. When should I use Apex? Answer. To create email services. Create web services. Perform complex validation over multiple objects. To create complex business processes that are not supported by workflow. Create custom transaction logic. Attach custom logic to another operation. Question 4. How does Apex work? Answer. All Apex programs runs entirely on demand on Force.com platform. First the platform application server compiles the code into abstract set of instructions that can be understood by Apex runtime interpreter. The compile code is stored to metadata when the end users triggers the execution of Apex by clicking button or visual force page the application servers retrieves the compiled instructions from the metadata and send them to runtime interpreter before for returning the result. Question 5. What is Apex email service? Answer. Email services is an automated process that use Apex classes to process the contents, headers, attachments of inbound email. Question 6. What is map class in Apex Salesforce? Answer. Map class contains methods for the map collection type. A map is collection of key values pairs where each unique key maps to a single value. Map keys and values can be any data type primitive types, collections, subjects, users defined types, and built in Apex types. Question 7. What are the types of SOQL statements in Salesforce? Answer. Salesforce object query language is used to query that records from the database.com based on the requirement. There are two types of SOQL statements, static SOQL and dynamic SOQL1. Static SOQL. The a static SOQL statement is written in array brackets. These statements are similar to IINQ, ion integrated query. 2. Dynamic SOQL. It is used to refer to the creation of a SOQL string at runtime with a PEX code. Dynamic SOQL enables you to create more flexible application. To create dynamic SOQL query at runtime use database query method in one of the following ways. Return a single subjects when the query returns a single record. X subjects S equals database query string underscore limit underscore all return a list of subjects when the query returns more than a single record. Question 8. What is Batch Apex in Salesforce? Answer. Batch Apex. Batch Apex allows you to define a single job that can be broken up into manageable chunks, whereas every chunk can be processed separately. Question 9. What is Apex Scheduler? Answer. It will invokes the Apex class to run at specific time. Anybody who want to schedule their class they have to implement schedulable interface. Schedule interface. The class that implements this interface can be scheduled to run at different intervals. This interface has several methods. They are public void execute, schedulable context sc, etc. Question 10. What are the types of Apex triggers in Salesforce? Answer. Triggers are divided into two types, before triggers and after triggers. 1. Before triggers. Before triggers can be used to update or validate values of a record before they are saved to the database. 2. After triggers. After triggers. Before triggers can be used to access field values of the records that are the stored in the database and use these values to make changes in other records. Question 11. What is group by? Answer. With a P version 18.0 and later you can use group by with aggregate functions, such as sum or max, to summarize the data and enable you to roll up query results rather than having to process the individual records in your code. Syntax. Group by field group by list. Question 12. What is the usage of a PEX program with within Visual Force page? Answer. Oh, when you want to call a PEX class in Visual Force page, we have to declare in the following format. Oh, whenever we call a Visual Force page in which controller attribute is defined, it will first create an object for the Apex class which is defined in controller. Oh, when object is created for the Apex class, first it involves the constructor. 
Question 13. What are SOSL statements in Salesforce APEC? Answer. SOSL statement evaluate to a list of subjects, where each list contains the search results for a particular subject type. The result lists are always returned in the same order as they were specified in the query. If a SOSL query does not return any records for a specified subject type, the search results include an empty list for that subject. For example, you can return a list of accounts, contacts, opportunities and letters that begin with the phase map. Note, the syntax of the class in Apex differs from the syntax of the find clause in the SOAP API. In Apex, the value of the find clause is demarcated with single quotes. Question 14. What is JavaScript remoting for Apex controllers? Answer. Use JavaScript remoting in Visual Force to call methods in Apex controllers from JavaScript. JavaScript remoting has three parts. The remote method invocation you add to the Visual Force page, written in JavaScript. The remote method definition in your Apex controller class. This method definition is written in Apex, but there are few differences from normal action methods. The response handles callback function you add to or include in your VF page, written in JavaScript. Question 15. What is the main difference between using data table vs page block table tags? Answer. Page block, for default sales for standard format. Data table, to design custom format. Question 16. What is multi-tenant architecture? Answer. An application model in which all users and apps share a single, common infrastructure and code base. Question 17. What is metadata-driven development model? Answer. An app development model that allows apps to be defined as declarative blueprints, with no code required. Data models, objects, forms, workflows, and more are defined by metadata. Question 18. What are force platform site? Answer. Public websites and applications that are directly integrated with your Salesforce organization without requiring users to log in with a username and password. Question 19. What is App Exchange Directory? Answer. A web directory where hundreds of App Exchange apps are available to Salesforce customers to review, demo, comment upon, and, or install. Developers can submit their apps for listing on the App Exchange Directory if they want to share them with the community. Question 20. What is S-Control? Answer. S-Controls are the predominant Salesforce.com widgets which are completely based on JavaScript. These are hosted by Salesforce but executed at client-side. S-Controls are superseded by Visual Force now.